Hi, this is Mrs. Young, your Avon High School librarian. Today I'm going to show you about the Sora app, which is how we can read um, ebooks and audiobooks, and it's sometimes a lot faster way to be able to get the books that you need. So, right now I am on the Avon High School page. I'm going to click on Menu and go down to where it says Library. You do have to be on the High School page, not the Community School Corporation page. I'm going to scroll down a little bit to where it says under the Read section under Sora ebooks and audiobooks. It's going to pop up. If you are at school, it'll say sign into your school or it'll say something like, um, is, are you part of the West Central Indiana School Consortium? And you are part of that. So we're going to say Avon High School. My username and password are my network login. Notice that I've ha got mine saved so I don't have to type it each time, which makes it a little bit easier. And then it pops into the app. I've got two books checked out right now. Uh, but you can click on Explore, and that'll let you search for a book or an audiobook. Um, this dry one is really good. I'm going to click on that one because I like that book. Um, and you can see right here it says Borrow. If this is not available, if somebody has it, else has it checked out right now, it'll say Place Hold. You can place your hold, and you can put your email address in, and it'll send you a message when it's ready for you. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Borrow. And I have borrowed this book and it automatically opens up and it should be ready for me to start clicking on it. So that is how that works. I do want to show you, um, I can close out of this or go back out of the book. I'm gonna go back to my navigation, which is down below. The shelf will tell me which books I have. It'll also give me a couple of options. If I go to that, if you do have a Kindle, it'll send it to your device. Um, so you can click on Send to Kindle if you have one of those. Otherwise, if you go to the Sora app, uh, that will allow you to, like on your phone or your iPad or whatever, the Sora app itself will allow you to sync with your computer and your app, and you can read on either or both as you'd like it. Uh, there are some other options for you. The are Once you're in the book, let me go back into that here for just a second. Can open the book. There are different options that you can pull up, like you can fast forward or you can bookmark things. You can change the font if you'd like. There are different kinds of lighting, so just uh, depending upon you know the time of day that you're reading, that does help you. Um, there's different fonts that you can use. There's a dyslexic font. If you have trouble reading, this makes the, the letters look really, really clear. Um, so that's another good one that you can use as well. So all of those options are available to you. Uh, if you have an audiobook, it's awesome to, you can check it out on your computer because that makes it really nice and easy to be able to um, e easily check it out. But then there's an app, the app on your phone, you can listen to audiobooks as well. So that's the Sora app. Um, for ebooks and audiobooks. And again, to um, make that easy for you, uh, if you have any books that you would like to have ordered that aren't on there, you just have to send me a Schoology message and it just takes me a couple hours to get them ordered for you. So thanks for listening.